What is the difference between a base case and a recursive case in recursive functions or in recursion? Well, simply put, a base case is the case that tells the recursion, stop calling yourself, while a recursive case is the case that tells the function, keep calling yourself. So if you have a recursive function where you only have a recursive case but you do not have a base case, that means the function will never know when to stop calling itself and that will result in infinite recursion and as well that can crash your application or make your application not responsive. So when you create a recursive function, it's important to include a base case so that the function knows when to stop calling itself. Now let's look at a code example. As you can see here, I have a variable here called counter and then I have a function print name in this function I do console log decode and then I increase the counter variable by one as you can see I have if counter is less than five the function should call itself now what do you see in this example this example here has a recursive case and a base case. The recursive case here is if counter is less than five, the function should call itself again. This is the recursive case that tells the function call yourself again. Now what is the base case in this example? Now the base case in this example is implicit. The recursive case is explicit. The recursive case is if counter is less than five call yourself again. But the base case which is implicit here is if the counter variable is not less than 5 then don't call yourself. Stop calling yourself. But as long as the counter variable remains less than 5, keep calling yourself. So the recursive case here is counter less than 5 while the base case here is counter not less than 5. But let's look at another code example. Now I've changed the code a bit and what I simply did now was instead of having the counter less than 5 I instead have if counter is greater than 4 return and then here the function calls itself again. So in this example, the base case is now explicit while the recursive case is implicit. The base case here is if counter is greater than 4, return. And as you know, the return keyword in functions is used to terminate that function. So that means if counter becomes greater than 4, by returning here, it's going to tell the function, don't call yourself again, terminate, finish execution. But what is the recursive case here? The recursive case, like I said, is implicit, which is if counter is not greater greater than 4, then keep calling yourself. So there are different recursive examples where you may have explicit base case or explicit recursive case or implicit base case or implicit recursive case. But the whole idea here is that a base case tells the recursive function when to stop calling itself so that it doesn't result in infinitely calling itself while the recursive case is that case that informs the function to keep calling itself. So I hope base cases and recursive cases now make sense to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share and as well subscribe for more simplified JavaScript videos like this.